All right, today we're going to do a video of another toy I picked up, a uh, Skipper by Palomar. Uh, that's all it says, no 300 on it, uh, no 200. Uh, actually, I couldn't find any other information on this on the internet, so if you know or seen uh, paperwork or more about it, you know more than I do. Um, looking here, you can see it's a four tube amplifier. It uses uh, 6146s, um, all in parallel. Um, they're in tetra mode, so it doesn't need a driver. Um, and also, what I notice is this uh, amp is extremely light. That's the power supply there. Um, that transformer is low voltage only. It uh, drives the filaments and the relays and the low voltage only. Um, there is no high voltage transformer in this. It uses like a voltage quadrupler or maybe a quintupler. I didn't really check um, to get the high voltage right off the power supply line. Um, those are the caps. Uh, modern uh, small electrolytics and it's got some diodes in there but uh, it takes that right off the power line and either quadruples it or quintuples it and uh, takes it right to the tube so no high voltage uh, transformer so this uh, amp is extremely light um, and everything is on a circuit board which um, I don't know if that's good or bad but um, other than that it seems to be pretty well built and um, it does this thing which we'll see right in a minute here uh, 6146 tubes are um, audio tubes which are, are pretty plentiful and pretty cheap so we like that part of it too uh, on the front here of the skipper by Palomar we have the main power on off switch standby operate preamp AM FM or SSB all that does is add a delay to the uh, relay and instead of a uh, load where you tune it it has a switchable where you can switch in a couple uh, small caps for the loading instead of a tuner or the load control and up here you do have a variable tune cap um, up here and you got on it low medium high and uh, maximum uh, well it affects your dead key this thing still swings like crazy um, on it we uh, aren't going to use the big radio because the big radios put out pretty big watts that radio does about 50 swing and uh, there's no way to dial it down and I didn't want to put that much into my little skipper by Palomar and hurt it so we dug up a, a old new radio we just acquired a little SBE that does normal uh, 4 watts uh, 3 and a half actually we got it dialed down to and you know swings to about 15 peak that's a normal regular uh, uh, 4 watt radio except for this one does have a uh, like a second receiver a dual watch in it but normal finals normal wattage is what we're gonna put into here and right now we got the amp on standby and just keying the radio on the watt meter. Hello, hello. We got the uh, watt meter on average, so that's what the radio uh, is doing. That's going to go into the amp. It's actually, doing a little more, but uh, we got so many things in line that uh, it backs down the watts a little bit. Um, so on standby, we got the radio, and we're going to put it on operate. And notice as soon as we turn the um, switch to operate this light likes green meaning we are in operate mode and when we key it down it goes red uh, indicating we're in transmit mode there is no other meter or light or indicator on it to show you output or, or plate load or milliamps or anything like that which I don't like but anyway it does have the uh, regular power light and standby that goes off and uh, operate is on and when you key down it goes red um, oh, now we key down we got this on the low and as you can see it's hardly dead keying anything but we're not going to modulate on the 20 watt scale we're going to go to the 200 watt scale still on average and uh, modulate it 
using a little sound effects box because uh, this mic on this radio is not very sensitive and uh, my voice is about going out so uh, dead can about three four maybe five and um, swinging past 150 mind you that's on average on peak it pin that 200 watt scale actually we'll see what it does on peak on the 2000 watt scale close to 300 watts from a 5 watt dead key on peak so this thing on the low side is a swinging machine um, now we're gonna put it on medium here and uh, key it down again and see what it does back to the 200 watt scale Okay, now we're dead key in 40. And we're swinging about 200 average. Probably going to do about the same thing, Pete. Close to 300 or 300 or so. Little past 300, Pete. That's the medium side. Now we're going over to the high side. 200 watt scale back on average. Okay, looks like we're dead key in 80 watts. Well, that's not going to work. Uh, 2000 watt scale modulation. This is on high. Dead key in 80 or 100, depending on what scale you put it on. And going about 250 average. And let's see what it does peak again. just over 300 peak and last we're gonna go to maximum over on the dial and back to average 200 watt scale did key keys about 130 and uh, gonna put it on the 2000 watt scale average So still swinging about just over 250 and over on peak going close to 350 on peak on the maximum and since I don't like high dead key I'm going to take it back down to low and uh, put it on average in that 200 watt scale and that's what I like to see right there. That's average swing. Three, four, five watts. Swing into past 150. So that's going to be it for the uh, Skipper by Palomar. Not a Skipper 300, not a 300A. Probably uh, not made by the same Palomar that went out of business uh, back in the 80s that made the. Uh, old Palomar amps and everything it's probably a Chinese clone import especially looking at the way it's made and designed I doubt if Palomar did that um, but a skipper by Palomar amp four tuba 461 46 tubes and no high voltage transformer it uses a quadrupler or probably a quintupler to up the voltage and takes it right off the AC lines Actually, you're switching power supplies in your computers and and about everything else. Do that also. They take the power right off the AC lines and don't use a uh, transformer in them. That's how they make them so small and so light. And looks like this technology is coming to amplifiers. But I do know some um, big boys who did that in uh, amps instead of using a high voltage transformer in a big amp and. Uh, they use, uh, you know, tin templars or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I have known them to short out. And uh, some of the guys may have killed themselves and or have killed themselves messing around with uh, transformerless uh, 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 high voltage power supplies. But this little amp here, um, I think even if it did short, it's not running enough current and then and enough voters to kill you but it probably sure can't hurt you if something happened that uh, 
went wrong or you didn't have it grounded right or something. Anyway, that's going to be it for my uh, little swinging machine. Skipper by Palomar.